And on that note, now it's time to leave for church. Finally! <laughs> I'm glad to see you so excited about church. I'm excited for church to be over. How could you say that? Because when church is over, then we get to celebrate Christmas. Oh, Luke, that's not so. Church is a very important part on how we celebrate Christmas. But why? Didn't Jesus tell us we could talk to God on our own? He did, but church is how we celebrate with God's family. Exactly. God didn't call us just to do life on our own. He called us to live in relationship with other Christians, make friendships, and do life together. And when we all worship together, too, there really is nothing sweeter. Oh, yeah, because the best gift we can give to God is our praise. Very good, Claire. I'm glad someone was listening earlier. But why do we have to dress up? I thought Jesus also said, come as you are. See, I was listening too. <laughs> I'll let mom handle that one. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so no one has to dress up. It's just that on some holidays, out of tradition, some people like to. That's all. But yes, it really doesn't matter either way. Like we said, come as you are. The next weekend, I want to wear my Spider-Man costume. Oh. If he gets to be Spider-Man, then I want to wear my Elsa dress. Uh, uh, we'll think about that. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I still have one more question, though. What's that, hon? If God calls us to be with other Christians, how can we find our friends at church? I mean, it's just so big. Did you know everybody when you got here? Oh, no. Your dad and I didn't know anyone until we joined a small group. A small group? Yeah, a Bible study. That's how a big church gets smaller. Then the people you meet in your small group are the people you worship with, too. Exactly. And like we were saying earlier, when your whole church family comes together to worship God, there really is nothing sweeter. <laughs> <laughs>